Hey guys, how's it going? Jimmy here. Welcome to a game called Laughter. This is another one of those Ludum Dare entries, as you can see from the back here. <laughs> oh! Okay, was not expecting that. <laughs> Holy shit, that's loud! Okay, so this game is uh, mainly about kind of anxiety and depression and all kinds of mental illnesses. And it kind of uses a kind of horror aspect and a kind of weird sounds and lights to kind of make you kind of off um, kilter almost and it presents you with like scenes like this I can't do this so this game is made in the Unreal Engine so a lot of the textures are pretty uh, pretty actually nice and the lighting effects are pretty cool but the main gist of the game is to find all the different scenes and kind of piece together uh, what's going on here as you can see the terrain is as you can see from the start there, when I just fell down, it's very hard to get an aspect of what you're walking on, what's real, what's a, what's a steep fall and what's a kind of uh, ascent. And as we see, I'm falling here. It kind of like, it, it kind of reminds me of walking on ink, if that makes any sense. You know how ink, if you were to throw ink on a canvas, it kind of goes all kinds of places. <laughs> Fuck, what was that? Jesus. Okay, I'm just looking at a painting. Uh, looks like two monkeys fighting on top of a on top of a thing. Holy shit, what is that? It's really hard to see stuff, but here we go. So now I'm a forest surveyor. Okay. There's a leaf or a, a rose. Brilliant. I really like the sound effects in this. No people to laugh at me, no blank canvases to taunt me. No one at all cares that I'm here. Yeah, a lot of people feel like that when they go into the forest alone. Finally, some peace. Here we go. Ah, oh, lovely forest. This is good. I like that scene. <laughs> Jesus, the music's picking up, isn't it? Let's head over here. Oh, that's the same thing I came from last time. So can I come up the way like this? Why is my brain so fucking convinced they were laughing at me? As you can see here, it kind of deals with the... Uh, I'm going up the way, going towards the lights. I think that's where I started, all the way up there. I'm going to try and get back there, eventually. But if I can get up here... Oh, there's a jump. There's a jump button. Alright, what do we have here? I just have to make it work. This is stupid. I made it to work yesterday and the day before that and the day before that. And what good did it do me? So I'm not sure if the actual uh, guy that made this game suffers from depression or anxiety or whatever, but um, uh, he does a good job of kind of just giving you little hints as to what the person might be thinking as they go through a condition like this. It's really fucking, whoa. Where was the, uh, see I've totally lost my bearings again. Where's the place I was going to just now. I was trying to get up to a place. Is it here? There we go. Okay, that's where I started. That's alright. We don't we don't need to go back up there. We know it's up there. It was a blank canvas that was up there. And I think I fell down the other side. So let's go explore this this way. Well, I can't seem to... Okay, I can. <laughs> what do we have here? Clapping? Slow clap? Oh, thank you. Oh, here we go. There's a text. Oh! Why are you so lazy? Get a job! Holy shit, I've heard that one before. It's not that easy to get a job, you know? A lot of people are struggling to get jobs. <laughs> There's too many people in the world, man. Too many people in the world. Um, be realistic. It's another phrase you hear a lot. Don't chase your dreams, be realistic. Go after a job that... Oh, hello. The lights went out. Lights come on. Oh, I'm proud that you've started painting. Okay. Now, I'm not sure if actually it deals with uh, some forms of schizophrenia, this game. You know, like, uh, I'm not sure. My uncle is uh, schizophrenic, he's a painter. And he's a fucking brilliant painter. But it's just too bad that he had a mental condition that held him back. But what about the field? They love you there. Don't you want that? The field? What do you mean by the field? Oh my god, these lights are kind of blinding me, especially because I have a cataract in my eye. It's extra bright. 
Am I, am I going towards this light over here? Heading backwards. No, there's nothing. Huh. Alright, we'll just go in a circle then, shall we? I sort of have my bearings with me now. Here we go. So did I get into McGill or not? This is it. The letter. Let's tear it open. What does it say? Holy shit. Oh, it's tearing up the letter. I guess you didn't get in, buddy. It's a shame. Sorry about that. I do like your paintings, though. They're really fucking cool. It's like a guy's head being chopped off at the top there. It's pretty fantastic. So I guess McGill's like maybe some art school, maybe? We're piecing together this, piece by piece. Even though I fucking hate the shit out of horror games, this is actually something that I find pretty interesting. That's why I decided to play it and show it off to you. So I think that might be all, actually. What do we have here? Yo, I'm lost! Could you help me? It's pretty much how I feel right now. I'm feeling pretty lost. Can we get up there? No. The stuff down there, do I want to fall down? Let's just go for it. I think I've already seen all these though. This is the way I came just now to the forest. So do I actually think there is an end game to this game? It's not really like a game, it's more like an, an art installation. So I guess you can pick it up in the uh, description for free. You can download this, it's a really small file. And play it yourself and see what you think. Just, uh, I recommend turning the- Oh my god, the volume. <laughs> I recommend wearing a pair of headphones and turning the volume up really, really loud. Because the sound effects are really fucking good. I'm going to try and see if I can get back to the, the blank canvas. I don't think I can climb back up there. Hey! No, I can't get back up. That's a shame. Oh well. Why are you so lazy? Get a job. Alright, don't want to see that again, do we? So, have I seen this one before? I can't do this. Yeah, I have seen this. So there you go, tearing up her paintings. Yeah. There's a, an artist called Tracy Emin in the UK that did that. She uh, got all her paintings together and set them on fire. But um, in one of her other exhibitions, she had a little photo of each painting that she did on and she put it on a wall I was like fuck you if you're gonna burn all your work you don't keep little photographs of them right you burn everything what a noob what a what an asshole artist I hate Tracy Emin go and google her she did something called the unmade bed which is basically like an, literally her unmade bed that had condoms lying around like bottles of whiskey fucking used condoms and it's just like oh look at me I'm in such a horrible state and this bed represents my state of mind and body I was raped as a child okay yeah it's an unmade bed come on and um yeah I don't like Tracy Emin okay well we'll, st we'll end this on a note of positivity uh, proud of start painting so hope you enjoyed this this has been uh, laughter and uh, I think it's about anxiety and depression, I think. <laughs> Lots of people are suffering from that nowadays and it seems to be a more and more common and prevalent thing amongst people. All we need to do is uh, just talk to each other and connect. Don't, don't do things on your own. Don't hold things inside. Let it out. That's my message to you today. And thanks for watching. See you in the next video. Take care and peace out.